Since the announcement of Central Square's Green Street Studios closure this month, many artists in the Boston community are growing concerned about the domino effects it could have on the city. I spoke with one arts advocate at the Origination Cultural Arts Center in Jamaica Plain, and she tells me that this trend could have a negative impact on the arts community. If this domino effect continues, if more dance studios have to close, there'll be nothing left for these young people. The arts and the connection we made with them through arts saved their lives. Shaumba Yanja Dabinga is the founding artistic director of Origination Cultural Arts Center, a nonprofit performance arts organization which serves children from Roxbury, Manapan, and Dorchester. A hard yet rewarding job she has done for the last 25 years. We are firm, though, in our beliefs and how we're going to work with our young people and with our standards. I also know what needs to be done in order to be able to get programming for our young people. The budget for operational expenses costs more than $500,000. And as the only full-time staff member, her job also includes finding creative ways to raise funds to supplement what grants don't cover. Boston's is expensive. It's very, very expensive. It took a long time for us to be able to find a location that was affordable and easy for our families to get to. So when she learned about Green Street Studios closure because of increased rent costs, it disappointed her. Green Street Studios, now in Central Square, is closing. Some of our alumni, when they come to Boston, they don't only teach at Origination, they go right to Green Street. They rent out the studio and people flood to take those classes. Green Street's gone now. To bring awareness of the importance of arts education, Dabinga and her team organized their signature annual benefit gala, Twist and Shout. It's not just about coming in and learning a dance step and then performing on stage. We teach the entire child, the whole child. We have young people in here that, you know, have thought about suicide, are depressed, are dealing with bullying, trying to figure out how to communicate better with their parents. If there's problems at home, I could go to origination and just relax and sit there and get things off my mind and go in the studio and dance or go in the office and do homework. So it's kind of a multi-purpose place. Although it is an art center, I could still make it home. I think the city, it, it's taking time. You know, they're doing the work, but there's a lot more work to be done. And it shouldn't be this difficult for nonprofits and for artists to be able to do the work that we love to do. In Jamaica Plain, Laura Onyenaho, The Boston Herald.